Hey guys, so I set myself up a Sky Hunter. This is the full size edition, 1800, 1800mm. 1 1.8 meters anyway. Um, it's, you know, as you can see, it's not been painted or anything, it's just, it's going to get up in the air. I've set it up the way it is at the moment, it's to carry two 5 amp batteries. Um, this is the Maiden. I have not flown this before. Uh, I don't know. I mean, I've got a good idea of what it's going to do, but until it gets up there, I'm not 100% sure what it's going to do. Uh, it's first thing in the morning, nice and early. <clears throat> uh, now these fields here, uh, to the past those trees, three kilometres, and you've got restricted airspace, Birmingham Airport, and it's on a on a horizontal to what we are, watch this. On a horizontal to what we are now. And then behind me, one and a half kilometres. Directly behind me now, one and a half kilometres. And we've got Coventry Airport. But everywhere down there, from what I can see down there, I give myself, uh, I don't know, 60, 60 degrees um, on a horizontal. There's no restriction, there's no restricted airspace down there. Even this area here is not restricted, meaning there's, there's no ground restriction on here either. Um, I can't see nothing. And the parks and everywhere else, there's ground restriction. And the ground restriction is you've got to be aware that there's people, and obviously you've got to um, prioritise safety first. But there's no actual air uh, restrictions here, so I know I'm quite, quite safe flying here. Uh, I love it, I love the Sky Hunter. I tell you what, it's a lot more manoeuvrable than the Bixler, but then it's a different setup with the wing and the Bixler. I'm using 2.4 gigabyte on the video this time, and I'm still using uh, 868 megahertz for my control. Now the control, the reason why it's flashing is it's set to start flashing at 70. Uh, it's mine set up for RSSI and blink quality, and it will always show the weakest but it's only I've only got the transmitter on 10 milliwatts part of the reason for that is one I forgot to switch it up to switch it up and two it's just going to make sure that this flight is a small little flight I get the feel I can see what's going on up there I can see that I've got an issue with the GPS um, it's probably the connections um, probably not correct as you can see look it's okay again now if this was in a GPS assisted mode, when that goes funny, it would try doing an emergency landing, but because I'm just flying it around in manual mode, uh, we don't have any issues with it, and I'm not worried about it at all. But I know that I've got to look at it, and as of right at this minute in time, it's ready to go out again tomorrow morning, and all these issues are fixed. So tomorrow it can go out and have its servos trimmed as a tune, and do a bit of auto tune. Yeah, so I'm looking forward to that tomorrow. But this is it, yeah, this is my Sky Hunter. Um, I'm going to try and push the limits on this. Um, see how further I can get. I've got my 10 kilometres before, with the 8, 5, um, 5.8 gigahertz video. I'm going to see what I can do with, um, with this, with the same power. Yeah, I do, I do like flying this around. I do just remember, it just felt nice to fly. The whole thing just feels nice. I think it's because it's a bit bigger. Uh, I know I'm sort of flapping it around a bit, but that's, uh, I'm just, you know, I'm just, just getting the feel of it. This is the first time it's been in the air. Yeah, first time. I'm glad that the field was pretty clear as well. Just because, uh, in actual fact, there was somebody flying a little quadcopter around. I didn't know where they were. I think they're down, down there somewhere, possibly. Or oh, there's a bench just in front of us there, but in front of the, the hedgerow. They could have been possibly sat there, but they were flying a, um, right across the um, the boundary trees, like I do when I fly around it. I, I tend to go across around the boundary trees, so I thought that was pretty good of them. It was just nice to see somebody else or well, not actually see them, but to see that there was a multi-rotor, only small. 
shop bought job as you can tell anyway guys thanks for watching uh, I'll get a few more videos out of this I've got the swift camera on at the moment but I'm going to put the run cam eagle to not the pro version I don't like the pro version on there bye bye